Native casting from the Microsoft Teams app is now finally released. Regardless of the client you're on, whether it's mobile, whether it's desktop, it doesn't matter. It's out, it's ready, it's working. You want to know more? Stick around and I'll show you how it all works. I'm Paul Bloom and you are watching In My Humble Opinion. It's been one of those features we've been waiting for for a long time, and that's the ability to natively cast your screen or share your screen wirelessly with your meeting room system, like the screen I have behind me. Well, how we've been doing that over the last number of years is you've either had to go and buy a cast receiver like a Chromecast or something like that. In some instances, I've even seen people using things like Apple TV and that sort of stuff. And while that has its, I guess, its place in the market, um, it brings in additional complexity. So if I wanted to put a device up here behind me that will receive my screencast wirelessly, I would typically have that on its own HDMI input on the screen, which means I would need one of these guys to switch between the HDMI ingest from my Casty device, whatever that is, and the other input would then potentially be for my MTR unit. And so if my remote goes missing, I've got to muck around with uh, the TV screen or monitor to switch inputs. Um, if there is a dongle or some sort of casting bit of hardware that goes missing, uh, if, you know, perhaps even you're using cable. Cable is more stable, of course, more reliable. But even if you're using a cable, uh, potentially you may have to um, provide that little key ring with all the little connectors that allow you to cater for every possible connection on the planet. Again, not ideal. These things have burnt and, and hurt. And, and besides that, it's extra junk on the table. It's more stuff laying on the table that can go missing, that can get damaged and all that kind of stuff. So I'm, I'm quite excited about casting that is now natively available. So how does it work? Well, I'm going to show you in a moment. It's essentially available on all of the team's clients. And, and you do not, this is very important, listen very carefully. You do not have to be a member of the tenant where the meeting room system is because you're not using some kind of magic in the back end to connect to it. You also don't um, need to be on the same um, network as such. So for instance, I used my cell phone earlier when I was having a good play and I turned off my network entirely. So my MTR is on my wired network, my cell phone was on a 4G network and it just works. So how does it work in that instance? It's using the Bluetooth beaconing. So the same components we've been using before to walk up to a room and join are now included as part of casting. So you can already work out for yourself that casting is essentially using a Teams function to establish a call and share a screen. That's really what it's doing. Let's get straight into it. Let me show you how it works. Hold on to your horses. Here we go. Right, so what we have over here, top left hand side is my MTR main panel, but also you will see my little uh, control uh, screen over there with my MTR buttons, which will allow us to see what's going on over there. And then on the other side of the screen on the right is my desktop client. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the ellipses on the top of my desktop client, click that, find the cast, hit the cast button. It's going to come up with my room. It found my room HPC dash rooms via the Bluetooth beaconing, which I've enabled on the room system. I'll go next. It'll ask, what content would you like to share? I'm going to grab this uh, PowerPoint slide over here. PowerPoint sharing is so nice these days. I'll bring it over there and you'll see on my MTR, it's asking me to accept or decline. So there's no massive security other than you need access to the room so you can accept or decline. I've got to accept and here we go. Getting the share. It's just loading the content and that's it. You're now a Teams Screen Casting Pro. Congratulations. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and ask some questions. Let's interact. Tell me what you want to know about, if there's anything in there, any feedback, any thoughts. Would love to hear them. I'm Paul Bloom, and this has been another instance of In My Humble Opinion.